Hey guys, I'm Emily. This is Cedar. He is a two-year-old golden doodle. Um, we live in Atlanta, Georgia. I am a teacher by day and um, I have a shop where I make stickers, um, graphic design. So I've been asked uh, recently to show how or to show how I started grooming him at home. Um, as a teacher, grooming or as a teacher, um, you know, don't have a lot of money in your pocket. Um, and grooming a, a doodle that's, you know, a, that's uh, 60 pounds, it costs a lot of money. Um, and so, and I like to have him pretty well groomed most of the time. Um, so it was costing me over $100 each time I was to have him groomed. Um, and so I started talking with, we first had a mobile groomer, then I started talking with um, his brick and mortar groomer. Um, and I started gathering, um, over a course of a year, I started gathering tools that I now use to keep him groomed weekly so that he looks nice all the time. Um, he's a fairly curly doodle. He's a golden doodle. Um, he... It doesn't have super tight ringlets, but he has, um, he has a soft curl. Uh, his legs are pretty wavy or crimpy. Um, stop. So I'm first going to go over, um, just the, uh, the gear that we use. Now he was groomed, um, he was groomed last week. So I right now don't have a full video for you. Um, but I can start off by showing um, the gear that we use. Our most useful brush right now, and we brush them every single day, um, is a, the Chris Christensen, um, I think this was the mini. And this is just a great brush. It has extremely long, um, teeth and it gets down into the curls and it gives a nice, um, fluff. But most Importantly, it gets out all the tangles and then you can see it in the brush and he is brushed regularly. He doesn't, um, he doesn't bite normally. Um, this is our everyday brush. It was just on Amazon. Um, it's a slicker brush, but on each end of the slicker brush, it has a little point or a little, um, dull tip. So it doesn't hurt the skin. This is just a finishing brush. Um, to fluff and doesn't really get out many tangles. Um, but he gets his, his fame from Instagram. So he's got to look um, picture perfect more often than not. Our third, um, every day is a metal comb and I'll link everything down below in the, um, just down below in the video. And so this, we comb him before he takes a bath after he takes a bath, after he's blow dried, every night before we go to bed. Um, his feet are combed. If there are any tangles, I first start with the pink brush and then I go to the comb. Let's see. We have three shears that we use for his face and for his feet. Uh, the first shear are just um, straight grooming shears. And this is good for his eyes and his cheeks, his cheeks uh, mat pretty fast because they're curly. Um, also, I use it on his ears. And for the rest of his body, I use the curved shears, which is for his afro, for parts of his ear, for his feet, and for his tail, you hold it up and cut the curve just like you would his ear. Um, and this is also what I do for his eyebrows. I have thinning shears, um, but I, they're not great quality and I just don't find that they do the best job, at least for him. Um, okay. These are our clippers. Now this is the most asked question that we get. Um, we don't have high quality clippers. Again, teacher salary. These are a wall clipper set 
it was one of, this is the first one I've gotten. Um, it was, I think like $35 on Amazon and I got it because it had all of the guards that came with it. And through trial and error, I found that his body is best on a half inch guard and his legs are best on a one inch guard. And so I have all these other guards here. I don't use them. Uh, I do use a one inch guard on his sanitary area for his sanitary shave. Um, and I use no guard when I am shaving um, in between his paw pads. Um, maybe one day we'll upgrade to a, a metal guard and to a better, maybe even a cordless. But right now this is like maybe $35 for the whole set um, on Amazon. I know Petco also has it and PetSmart, Walmart carries it. Um, this was just the best, uh, it was the best deal for those starting out and not knowing if you'd be successful or not. Oops. Um, okay, I'll just get this right here. The last two more things. This is what I trim his, or I dremel his nails. This is a wall dremel. Um, I guess I'm a wall customer. Um, he lay, he's, I did this since he was a baby. He lays down. I'm able to dremel his nails. Um, I have a whole, this is off of Amazon. This is a hundred count, um, sandpaper replacement. So every couple times I'll replace the little piece of sandpaper. Um, it's easier for me to dremel than using clippers. Um, I've done the beagle's nails with the clippers and I cut the quick and that's just a no, no. This cart is just um, an Ikea cart and it fits everything perfectly if you want that as well. Um, this is our favorite item. This is our dryer. This is on Amazon. I think it's a Shelandy uh, dryer. It is uh, grooming quality. It's heated because he gets cold quickly when he's wet. Um, during the summer, I don't have the heat on. It is fast powered. It goes really good all over his body. This is extendable. Um, he normally goes to sleep when I am drying him. But this fits right on the bottom. That. Okay. And I think that's all. That's it. Oh, and instead of a grooming table, um, we just have a fold up card table. Um, it would be nice to have a grooming table, but he's pretty good. He even jumps on the table himself. Um, for for some dogs, if they aren't as sturdy or is comfortable with you grooming them, um, it might be right to get a grooming table because you can, you know, hook it onto their head so that they can't jump off or move around um, <laughs> while you do that. But I have I will link everything below, and if you have any questions comment um we're on instagram right here doodle and the hound you can send us a message there and we'll get back to you um we'll see you next time say bye